Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the topic, what is cloud computing? You might have heard about the words cloud computing in several instances. There are different definitions available on the internet for this. We all know that, right? I am going to explain this concept using a simple example which made more sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you as well. Let's see the example. Consider you are building an own house. So to build an own house, there are different parameters required. The most important ones are, we need to have a land area, we need to have a house planning to build a house, and the cost necessary to build a house. Apart from this, there are several other managing things like choosing the right engineer to give the contract or selecting what materials to use to build the house and several others. So building a house is clearly a tedious process to do, right? On the other hand, let's look at rented house. We all know rented house is already a completely built house, which means that it is ready to be used by the users, right? In rented house, we only need to pay the rent for the duration of the tenant period. Also, it is very easy to switch or change if we need to go to a different location. And it is very easy to manage compared to the own house. For example, in case of any failures in the plumbing or say electricity, if it is an own house, then it is completely the owner's responsibility. But in the rented house, you can just reach out to the owner to take care of this issue which leads to less managing overhead. So these are some of the main differences between owning the house and renting the house. We could exactly match these houses with on-premises application and cloud computing. Where own house matches with on-premises and the rent house matches with the cloud computing. The reason being that the on-premises application is completely owned by the organization. Which means that an organization is fully responsible for applications, infrastructure, networking, storage, security, and all other stuff. Whereas in cloud computing, all the services are completely owned by the cloud providers. Example of the cloud providers are Amazon Web Service, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, and several others. So these cloud providers are completely responsible for managing these services, and the users just use the services provided by them. The other main thing is, in on-premises applications, all the storage will be residing locally in the form of servers or database specific to one particular location. Whereas in cloud computing, the storage is in the cloud in the form of data centers. So what is meant by data center? You can think of a data center as a combination of multiple servers with massive storage. All the cloud providers have these data centers across multiple regions around the world. So the users can use the storage in any location based on their requirements. The next one is infrastructure or networking overhead. As discussed already, the on-premises applications is completely managed by the organization, which also means that any networking or infrastructure changes like updating the OS or changing the network configuration must be managed by the organization itself. This leads to high manpower that leads to high cost as well. Also, all that requires power consumption and electricity cost, which would be really high. But in cloud computing, all these are managed by the cloud providers itself. The user doesn't have to worry about anything here. Any updates or fixing any bug will be done by the cloud providers and the user just use the services. So now we have seen some of the differences between on-premises and cloud computing. The next thing to discuss is so why cloud computing? When to go for cloud computing? Cloud computing is great for high speed quick deployment process. Since we can use the services which is readily available instead of building it from the scratch. Automatic software updates and integration as it is fully managed by the providers. The cost is less and it is more efficient. Unlimited storage capacity. We all know that storage in today's world is massive and the cloud storage is extremely cheap. It is highly scalable, which means that based on the requirements, we can buy the compute power from the cloud providers, services like CPU, memory, etc. 
it is not necessary that the compute power is always a fixed one we could always extend it by buying the more compute using the cloud service provider services now we are going to talk about the cloud services models there are three most common cloud services models they are software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service let's see these one by one with example firstly software as a service software as a service is cloud hosted ready to use application software which means that the software is readily available to be used by the users basically a software is provided as a service to the users some of the examples are netflix amazon prime gmail if you take netflix as an example you can subscribe to netflix on a monthly or yearly basis right where you could watch movies on a web browser or as an app in your mobile so there are lots of movies available in netflix we all know that which needs a massive amount of storage to host all these movies but when you install the netflix app you do not need the massive storage in your phone to watch the movies right instead all the storage is taken care by the service providers in this case netflix so the user simply uses the service provided by them and just pays for that service which is called as the software as a service next the platform as a service it provides a cloud based platform for developing running and managing the application basically just gives you the platform for building your own software or application some of the examples are openshift red hat windows server on azure where you could use these platforms to build or run your applications the next one is infrastructure as a service pretty much the entire infrastructure starting from compute storage networking resource or provider as a service in the infrastructure as a service so the user can use these services based on their needs on a pay as you go basis so what's mean by pay as you go basis take the netflix as an example here consider you have subscribed to netflix on a monthly basis even if you do not use the netflix to watch the movies you have to pay the money after subscription right but in infrastructure as a service you just pay the money that you use even though you have subscribed to all the services you have to pay the money only when you actually use it so this is called as a pay as you go basis so some of the most common example of iaas or amazon web service google cloud platform microsoft azure and also virtual machine is also one of the most common thing that comes under iaas now we have seen about the cloud services models the next thing we are going to discuss is about the cloud service providers so the most popular cloud service providers are microsoft azure amazon web service and google cloud platform initially all my tutorials will be focused on microsoft azure so the next video of mine will be an introduction to microsoft azure stay tuned for that thanks for listening and please let me know if you have any feedback or questions in the comment section thank you cheers